LA Plus One edition of DC News, and we're going to talk about, oh, the superhero team that is coming back to the DC Universe via Villains Forever miniseries. Also, we're going to talk about the Justice League of... Oh, we'll tell you which country. Big name change coming up. Also, Kevin McGuire and his work on the upcoming Justice League 3000, which ain't his upcoming work on the Justice League 3000. We're going to talk about Earth 2 and the new Batman, and we're going to take a trip to the Federal Bureau of Physics over in the Vertigo Universe. All that and more coming right up. Is he done yet? <laughs> For over a decade, one of our display windows looked like this. But nothing lasts forever. See the Svengoolie Tribute window at Alternate Reality. Here at Alternate Reality, we respect our history, which is why you save 20% off on all your purchases on the 20th of every month. Alternate Reality first opened its doors on the 20th of August, 1994. And to celebrate, we have a Founders Day sale on the 20th of every single month. Doesn't matter what day of the week it falls on, you save 20% off on all your purchases on the 20th of every month. And that's just another way you save more money here at Alternate Reality. When I have diarrhea, I stay home. DC News. We are all the way committed to dabbling. <laughs> DC Comic Book News, episode 160, Touched by Torches. Like this? Hey, hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my oh. video outhouse. It's time for Bo! DC News! DC News, coming to you from this place. We are in the parking lot of alternate reality. We are suspending, we are suspending our, our tour of defunct comic book shops in the south side city of Chicago for this one here. episode because we lost our light. <laughs> <laughs> My life. This is the only place we can find something. It's the end of August for us right now, yeah, and it's about 7.30 at night, and we lost our light. <laughs> the days are getting shorter, we're and we thought, alive. so we're going closer to we're, that. we're in the alternate reality parking lot, <laughs> in the back, under the sodium vapor lights. It's quite spacious. <laughs> and it's quite spacious. And I'm full And it's work. very orange, and he's been eating carrots like crazy. <laughs> but we're here with DC News, and it's a JLA Plus One edition of DC News. Bo? Yes. Where should folks go to get all their DC comics? Well, they should come here to Alternate Reality. Alternate Reality. Okay, the intersection of 111th and Kedzie. That's get my stuff. Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, all my new comics are 15% off every day for everyone. Jeff Johns has revealed that in Forever Evil, the big mega event that's coming up in September, some group of villains is returning, and their names are... The Crime Syndicate Not of them. America. Earth 3. Yes. Yes. The team will have a brand new member added called Death Storm, which apparently is really evil. And Je Jeff John says, Lex Luthor, yes, Lex Luthor, he will lead a resistance team composed of Sinestro, Black Adam, Catwoman, Captain, Captain Cold, and someone wearing a Batman outfit who's not Bruce Wayne, which means if you check that at 159, I'll be willing to bet who's behind that costume. Jeff, 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 come here a second. It's not 1993 anymore. Nobody gave a damn about the Image Universe today from then, and Death Storm sounds stupid as No, hell. no, no, not the Image <laughs> Death Storm. I no, it. the name. That's when everyone's called either Death Blank or Blood Blank. Well, and you know what? They you ran that die. into the ground. <laughs> he thought the name was Try Captain Punchy Nuts. No, Captain no. Captain Crunchy Nuts. No, Blood This and Death That was Image in the early 90s, and you know what? It sucked then. And it ain't any better now. I think the name's just fine. I think Jim Lee's whispering in his ear too the, much. The reasonable <laughs> twins. <laughs> Meanwhile, Justice League of America <gasps> is about to get a major makeover oh. <laughs> by way of Bob and Doug McKenzie. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, I don't believe this. <laughs> uh, after Forever Year was over with, uh, Jeff Lamar's going to take over the book from Jeff Johns. Mike McCone, who was last seen working on Fantastic Four, are taking over Justice League of America in the spring, yeah. and the book will be renamed Justice League of Canada. <laughs> oh, good day, eh? <laughs> so apparently they're Got any beer? The now, <laughs> Got any beer? <laughs> the team will include Adam Strange, who are the new 52. Is a Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> Why not? It'll have three members of the current team and a few cosmic characters yeah. that Jeff Lemur happens to like. And of course, everyone knows cosmic characters are Canadian to begin with, so oh, there you go. Okay. What about maple syrup? Back maple syrup. I hope Powdered Toast Man shows up. Ice Back Bacon Boy. What about I'll be willing to bet one of those three is probably going to be Marsh Band. Is Log going to gonna be one of the members no, of the team? No. No Log, no. No Log? No. Okay. Okay. Single parent healthcare woman. No. no. Meanwhile, if you've heard about Justice League 3000, you know that it's going to have some fantastic 
classic art on it by Kevin McGuire, who's been just knocking himself out on that book. And, and, and he can't wait to get back into the saddle again and draw the Justice League one more time, like he did back in the, in the mid-'80s when he re rebirthed the Justice League. Bo's looking forward to it, and I know he can't wait. It's not going to happen. Oh, man, I'm going home. Kevin McGuire turned his that first issue. That's a hell of a book. DC looked at it and decided to make a change. So Howard Porter, who did the designs for the book, will be taking over the book. So it's not shipping in October anymore. Oh, 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 I know. He's going to Canada, right? <laughs> no, he's not going to Canada. Now, Jeff uh, McGuire actually started also Facebook by, by basically yes. listing he'd been fired. He hadn't exactly been fired. He'd just been taken off the book. And, and he was really annoyed by this because he was offered an X-Men project with Brian Bendis that he had to turn down to do this book because he wanted to work with, with uh, Keith Giffen and um, J. Mark DeManis. And so now he's not working there. DC said, we have some other little minor things for you to do. He goes, that's great. I'm, oh, Marvel's got an X-Men issue for me to draw with Bendis. I think I'll go over there for a while. Screw you. Wow. Okay, well, in this all JLA edition, we're going to go to Earth 2 because Earth 2 is, of course, the JSA, which was the precursor to the Justice League of America, so it all sort of works. And as you may have heard, there's going to be a new Batman in the JSA, he which is up. not the yeah, JSA, yeah, yeah. Earth 2, he was in the annual He's in the this annual. year, and we're going to find out who it is in Earth 2. Uh, Tom Taylor, the guy who's taken over for James Robinson, he said one of the first things he'll do is he'll tell us exactly who the new Batman is. He also said that James Robinson's last issue will follow the daredevil tradition that happened when Bendis was working on it, Brubaker was working on it, and Diggle is, which basically means Robinson's going to leave Taylor with this big, huge problem that he has to dig his way out of. Figure it out, son. Figure it out. Figure it See out, ya. <laughs> Our plus one is the Vertigo Universe, and we're going to talk about Collider, which is no, no longer Collider. It's called FHP, the Federal Bureau of, of Physics. Physics. I, first saw, I first saw this last week when I was working on the FOC, and Federal Bureau of Physics is on there. I'm going, what the, what hell, the hell, hell is that? that? <laughs> Issue three. Should what the be, hell is that? Well, apparently there's a there's an independent production called Collider out there, which the people who worked on this book... It's a rights problem. It's a, it's rights, a issue. rights problem. And I knew so, it had to be. I knew it had to be. And they said they heard about this after they got the first issue done. They turned it in, and then the people who came up with the other one said, hey, we hey. already have a book called Collider. And so DC went, instead of us wasting time fighting this in court, we'll just name this FPH. And besides, this book will be canceled in six months. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a great way of looking at it. And that's it. We're canceled too. We're done. We're finished right here. We got no more DC news. Go to the store's website though. Check out all the DC news. Bo sends me. I post up. Bo. Yes. Tell them where to go. Sarah, let them know as we light keeps going away. And there's a guy over there digging in the garbage. www.milesandreality.com. Warning may cause chuckling. So go to the store's website. Check out all his news till next time. This is Comic Book Man. And this is a guy who's not digging in the garbage. Saying. Garbage is not good for you. Bye. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.